Hello everyone, this is Juan here. Today we're going to be doing an update on JDAM, the 1.5 update. <clears throat> so, let me just close out this window. Let's get started. So first of all, we have the new GUI texture here. Okay. <clears throat> we have the new GUI texture here, a galaxy texture. There's still a handful of people that don't like it, but... I mean, a majority of people like it, so we're just gonna keep it. <clears throat> also, I managed to finally uh, display stuff on here like your race, stats, the form you're in. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. And I also added update the select skill GY. So now it looks more like DBC. Also, you can select forms and skills in it now. <coughs> also, now there's three levels of Super Saiyan Blue perfected. So to access that, first you have to go to Super Saiyan Blue. Wait. First, you have to go to Super Saiyan Blue, and if I have it, <clears throat> and then if I go to 125%, I enter the form, perfected Super Saiyan Blue, and now there's a, hmm. Let me check my skills. So yeah, now there's three levels. And if I can show you... Level 1, if you look at my uh, health bar, it drains about 100. If I have level 2... Only drains about 50. And if I have level 3, it only drains about 25. And how much it drains depends on your STR stat. I think, yeah. <clears throat> so after that, we have a better false Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan. Uh, I think a better false Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Rage. So if I give myself that skill, as you can see, your hair becomes a bit more red. Oh yeah, also... Yeah. <clears throat> False Super Saiyan also drains your health, too. So yeah, you should probably watch out for that. Alright, now that we're back here. So, false SSJ has a better, now has added hair color. And to access false Super Saiyan, you need to be in false, I mean, to access Super Saiyan Rage, you have to be in false Super Saiyan. 
and then enter God key and then this is false super saiyan rage <coughs> and I also added the mechan regeneration but I can't really show it off in a single player world since uh, there's no real players to heal and I added a config for mastery forms so servers have more customization and I also added a sense DBC skill DBC master skill like just to help you try and find where DBC masters are and I added individual stat costs on the GY so now each stat has its own cost so if you can see this stat is 100, 176 TP while this one is 216 there's also configs for that don't worry I also temporarily removed the training button <coughs> but it will probably be back another update uh, buttons to get to other GUIs won't disappear as you see here unless you select this one Actually. also made it so when you do JDM before when you did JDM race your player username and DBC nothing would change but now it'll set you to a Saiyan. So if you see here, <coughs> before when you did it, your skin wouldn't change. But now when you do, you'll automatically be set to a Saiyan with the correct skin. Also, if you can tell earlier, I put the skills on a skill sheet. <coughs> also, Zenkai now has a timer on here. Well, I shouldn't mention that. Now, Zenkai's can be activated at 10% health. And now, skills have a skill shop like before, but now it's a bit more neater. And as you can see here, I put uh, forms and skills on the same GUI. <coughs> and now Mastery Forms has its own GUI. I forgot to add buttons to that. Yeah. I'll have to remember that. And now the last feature to check out. Now Dende will spawn at Kami's lookout. His GUI seems to be glitch. But basically when you're a custom race, so let's say Majin and you wanna reset and by reset I mean like lose your stats and all these skills, you go to Dende. You'll reset. Now you'll have to go to Kami to remake your uh, player. So right now I'm a human. With 5 in all stats. So yeah, fun. And all my skills except for False Super Saiyan and Zenkai are gone. So I'll have to fix that. But yeah, that's the JDM 1.5 update. Hope everyone liked it. And uh, hope you check it out.